Hi everybody, Leslie here. Um, I've just got a quick share of this card for you today. So my daughter turned 18 last week, my older daughter. Uh, so I don't have a child anymore. I've got an adult, one child still left. So this is her birthday card and it's a never ending card, which I've never made before. They've been around for years. Um, this is an eight by eight one and it stands up like that. So it does stand up perfectly for display. So this face is what you'd stand up on display. I'll show you all the silly puns that we put on the inside. So she's having a birthday party next week. Um, that's black, white and, white and pink themed. So I went black, white, white and pink. And these are fantastic stash busting. So if you've got loads of pattern papers, toppers, paper flowers, anything that's reasonably flat, I just went through and pulled out everything pink and white and then added some die cuts, obviously, in pearlescent paper. So we went pink, white and black to match her party. And this is how it works. So it's a never ending card because you keep folding and you get back to the beginning so you can keep going. So this was her birthday card and we'd been looking and my husband loves a pun. Um, we'd been looking at all the 18 cards for ideas and this is what I came up with. So it's I regret to inform you, but your childhood has been permanently cancelled. Wow, you're 18. Don't worry, though. That's like one in cat years. Um, it's legal to do everything you've done since you were 15, but I stuck my words in the wrong order, but nobody but me has noticed that yet. <laughs> so there is a not deliberate mistake on here. Drink, gamble, vote, see an 18 film. And officially you can make decisions for yourself, but you probably shouldn't. And now take your father to a pub and buy him a drink. Yeah, he'd been joking for months that the first thing she was going to do when she turned 18 was go and buy him a drink in the pub. So she did. So, yeah, so it stands up like that. This is an eight by eight version. You can make these any size as long as it's square. It has to be square for the mechanism to work. So this takes just two sheets of eight by eight cardstock. I would recommend a really heavy weight for the base because, of course, it's going to take a fair bit of moving and twisting and turning and so you don't want a lightweight so i think this is 300 gsm i think it's a crafter's companion matte black in 300 gsm so that is a really heavy weight card stock just for the base so this is all just pattern papers i had in pink and white and die cuts and all bits and bobs from my stash now all the because this is eight by eight all the, you end up with eight three different lots of eight panels. So you end up with eight four by four panels. You end up with eight two by four panels. And then the little ones in the corners, these are two by two panels. And I just took a quarter of an inch off to make my pattern paper. So I got the border, the black border showing all the way around. So my panel on the four by four is three and three quarter inches square. This one is one and three quarters by three and three quarters. The little corner ones, these are one and three quarter inch squares. So you end up with eight of each of those. So these are great um, stash bus busters, like I say, with the pattern papers. When you open it, you just need to bear in mind the only thing that you see twice as you're going through is this one. So... If, as you can see, the butterflies are there top and bottom and then they're still there top, top and bottom when you are on that setting. So whatever you do on that panel needs to look right here and here. So basically, you just kind of need to split your panel, which is all I did. Um, I've got some footage of me putting it together. It took probably less than 10 minutes to put the base together. Um from start to finish it's really quite simple even though you end up with this complicated style card it took me way way longer to decide what I was putting on every panel but then you know that's the fun part isn't it so you get this really fun card um which you can decorate however you want mine is slightly not flat because I put these little bows on but if you didn't put anything like that on it would remain pretty much flat so you can easily post them 
and you can definitely make these in six by six size as long as you can do the math to make basically like a gatefold so you just need to be able to fold into the middle um i've got footage how you stick it all together but yeah you start with two square pieces of card that you cut in half and score and i'll show you how you stick it together um i'll just do some sped up footage so you can see that and see how it all goes together and um, if you want a more detailed version of how to do it um i used uh sam calcott mixed up craft i think she's got a video i think the one she made in the video was six by six but it's the same principle works for any square um yeah so that was my daughter's 18th birthday card So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, notify if you like my content. I've got an ever-growing pile of things that I'm going to pop in a giveaway for when I hit a thousand subscribers. So I will do a video, put um, open the comments, and I'll randomly choose somehow from those comments one person to win a whole bundle of things that I've building up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.